I just wanted to point out that in the last video, we only covered the two main type of variables. And of course, that was string and number variables. But there are other variables, and we will cover them later in the course. That being said, you can see here I've added three new string variables. One with the string, hello, how are you doing? Our second string variable will contain the name Mark. And then our third string variable will contain today. And it will also point to our second string variable. So you'll notice that for string variable three, we're actually referencing string variable two to get its value, which of course is Mark. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine the first string variable with the third string variable. And that should produce the sentence, hello, how are you doing today, Mark? And then of course, it's a question mark. Now you'll see the IntelliSense here from Notepad++. PHP recognizes that we are in fact referencing this variable. You can see that the color of this text is bold. So it knows that I have to use the value of string variable two for the output here. So again, the point of this lesson is to use concatenation. Now concatenation just simply means chaining something together or combining something together. So that's what we're gonna do. So we wanna use our favorite function echo. And then let's go ahead and specify our string variable one. And here is what you use to concatenate strings together. You use a period, it's that simple. So this, so that will be used to combine our string variables. And then let's specify string variable three, and there we go. And of course we need to close this out with a semicolon. So let's go ahead and save this, and let's go ahead over here and select our lesson.php. And there you can see, we got exactly what you wanted. And you'll notice here that we also received the value from string variable two. It was in fact rendered correctly. So we get the sentence, hello, how are you doing today, Mark? Now you can also use single quotes for your string variable instead of double quotes. So let's do that on this third string variable. Now I want you to notice something. You notice this isn't bold anymore? Did you notice the IntelliSense changed here? That's because there is a subtle difference between using double quotes and single quotes. And that is, when you use single quotes, PHP treats this as raw text, absolute text. So this no longer is treated as a variable, it's just plain old text now. So when we reload this over here, we should just get dollar string ver2. Of course, that's not going to make a lot of sense, but that's what we said. We just want the raw text now. So let's go ahead and save this and let's reload our lesson.php. And there you can see, this is exactly what I expected to get. We will only get plain text because these single quotes treat everything as just raw text. So that's the subtle difference between using double quotes and single quotes. I do think for the most part, you'll probably use double quotes, but I just wanted to explain the difference. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.